I'm Nick, and this is Engineering Roundtable. And lately, I've been thinking about what we can do with this Elastolite panel. Elastolite is an electroluminescent panel that is incredibly flexible and just a little bit stretchy, and uh, we all know that it's good for ironing into a soft prop or a piece of clothing or costume, but I'm wondering if it might have some applications for hard edge prop making. So. Uh, because of its uh, little bit of stretch that it has and because it's so flexible, I'm hoping that it'll be really good at conforming to compound curves on, uh, say, uh, ray gun or some similar sort of hard-edged uh, model. Because of the upcoming movie, I thought that it would be fun to try to build Captain America's shield. The shield is a nice simple shape, it's just round, but it does have a large curved surface, which would be hard to cover with normal electroluminescent panel um, because of it's so thick and uh, doesn't have any give really, that when you try to spread it over a compound curve like that, it doesn't really want to do it. So uh, I'm hoping the Elastolite will be a good way for me to get some electroluminescence on our version of Captain America's shield. I realize the shield doesn't light up and I can hear all of you screaming, that's not canon, you can't do that. Well, too bad, I'm doing it. We're gonna light up the star right in the middle of the shield and uh, that's why we've come to my shop today uh, to try to actually make the fiberglass front of the shield. My plan going into this is to actually carve the shield out of foam and then cover that foam with fiberglass and then I'll paint it and at some point in that stack I need to embed the elastolite. So uh, this foam is actually just foam insulation, it's hardboard foam insulation, uh, extruded polystyrene. The great thing about this foam is that it's dirt cheap at your local hardware shop. Um, it's pretty easy to carve, but it's still pretty hard and structural. So uh, if you can't afford like an expensive urethane modeling foam, this stuff is uh, worth every penny and I highly suggest if you're going to get into some sort of uh, like soft model making, this is the way to go. Since this piece of foam isn't quite big enough uh, to get the whole shield on and because it's the only piece of foam I have in my shop that's anywhere near the right size. I'm going to cut it in half and then I'm going to glue those halves side by side so instead of having a long skinny board I have a nice wide board and then I actually have a uh, trash can here in the shop that has the perfect size lid to trace uh, to make the uh, circular outline. Once I get that done my plan is to use a random orbital hand sander and start sanding around the outside and start getting that sort of dome shape. Now that I have a shield sized uh, circle of foam, I'm going to start shaping it on my disc sander. Uh, I've got a pretty large disc sander with some 80 grit uh, sandpaper on it, so it's got a really aggressive grit and it should uh, eat away at that foam really quickly. So the turkey carving knife actually works pretty well on the foam, but uh, I think I'm going to switch over to the hand sander. Boom! Shield shaped. Now that our foam mold is about the right shape, it's time to cover it with fiberglass. And fiberglass is actually pretty easy to work with. Uh, I'm going to be using a fiberglass cloth. So this is actually um, fiberglass like you would find in home insulation or like they would make boats out of and it's woven into a cloth that makes it easy to work with and it conforms to a wide variety of shapes. Basically the way that you apply this is the same way that you do um, paper mache. Um, so I'm just going to take uh, a two-part epoxy, uh, an epoxy resin, and much like uh, the use of starch and paper mache, the epoxy resin is going to be what holds this to the prop and to itself. And between the epoxy resin, which is quite strong once it hardens, and the fiberglass, which has an enormous amount of tensile strength, um, it'll make for a nice strong uh, part, but it won't be that heavy of a part. It should set up to something kind of like a plastic. And so it begins. Careful. 
carefully. Drape it. And then start sticking it down. We've applied uh, three layers of fiberglass fabric and uh, got some resin on there. So now uh, that overnight, that should harden to a nice hard part. And then uh, after I have the shield part, I can take all the foam out from behind it, probably melt it with some acetone, and we'll start painting it. We finished the paint job on the shield and let the paint dry. And now I'm getting ready to go ahead and peel this decal off of the center of the shield, which should reveal uh, that there's a star pattern underneath uh, that's translucent so you can see through to the back. Um, and so the last few steps left are just to use a little bit of Super 77 spray adhesive to try to glue these elastolite panels in behind that star. And then I'm going to use some two-part epoxy to glue in this cross brace that I made out of some plywood and tooling leather uh, that should give the shield a little bit more rigidity and also give you a way to hold it from the back. We've reached the final step in this build, and all that's left to do is to attach this elastolite inverter somewhere on this prop. And I decided a good place for it is probably going to be this cross brace right here. And I'm just going to stick it there uh, with a little bit of foam tape. Um, this double-sided foam tape, uh, I think it's a 3M thing, it's awesome stuff. Um, and it mounts stuff pretty permanently. So I'm going to use that to stick that right there. And then I'm just going to use some scotch tape to um, deal with this mess of uh, flat wire. The nice thing about the flat wire in a garment is that it's flexible and you can iron it down. On a hard prop, it's probably best just to find a good place where you can stash it all and then tape it down so that it doesn't move around and break the connections. All right, so we've gotten to the completed uh, Captain America shield. We've got the cross brace here in the back to give the shield some rigidity. We made the whole thing out of fiberglass. We've got our elastolite panels glued into the back so that they'll shine through the front. And now the most important step is, of course, to turn on the inverter and make sure that the star lights up. There it goes. So that's our Captain America shield build. And it turns out that the elastolite panels don't only work great for soft costumes, but also for hard props with curved surfaces. If you decide to replicate this project, or if this project inspired you to do something with elastolite, definitely send us a link to your write-up or your pictures in the YouTube comments, and we'll check it out. Thanks for watching the video, and good luck with your elastolite project.